time with you. It is. Mm -hmm. It's Halloween. <laughs> so it's time for some ghost stories with Owen. Ooh. That's Ooh. Owen. Ooh. Yes. So I don't know what my deal is, but I've accumulated many creepy, weird experiences or things that I would just outright call paranormal. Um, I have stories from various workplaces. Uh, I have a story of me and a friend experiencing something at the same time. And I have two childhood stories that had to be recounted back to me by my parents because I was not old enough to remember or understand <gasps> what was going on. <laughs> so there's something about you, Owen, that maybe spirits something. that want to latch on to you. Yeah. It's the hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the hat. You if know, you the... couldn't find Waldo while well, the ghost did. Yeah, <laughs> here I am. Okay, well I'm excited okay. to hear these, Owen. So yeah. Um, besides that, I also brought a piece of video evidence. Oh, okay. let's have. Uh, and unlike uh, Tony from yesterday, where he, you know, has all this equipment and he went out to these haunted places, this was a freak accident. We were filming like a news skit, and I got the footage back, and there was a, a creepy noise. So okay. if you wanna. Go ahead Speaking and play of that. Preparing for Halloween, let's go to our newest KMCT reporter, Ricky R. Porter, who's out talking to people in our community. Speaking of preparing for Halloween, let's go to our newest KMCT reporter, Ricky R. Porter, who's out talking so, to people in our community. It does, you said it does sound like a chair, but there's a couple reasons why I don't think so. Uh, in the video, there was no reaction from me nor the person next to me. Uh, the fact that the light turns off with that noise is a little coincidental. And then the person who was directing that, knowing him, had he heard that noise, he would have been like, hey, we gotta do a whole new take. Yeah, They're right. like, somebody moved a chair. And the, the way to make that noise with a chair, super specific, you gotta, it's, it's like yeah. a metal folding chair. You gotta like, er, yeah. move that in <laughs> such yeah. a way yeah. to make that sound. That's really Ooh, creepy. I was trying super. to I was trying to see the light thing, but I, I didn't. It was very faint. It was on the uh, it was on the right side. Okay. Can we play it one more time, you guys. Do we have that? Can we do that? Okay, let's okay, do that. Let's, you do okay, it one, yeah. So pay attention to the right side. Oh. Yeah. Wait, no, I don't. Wait, see I it. don't. See it's it. super, super faint. So it's a you little, the light little brighter. Out, that's what he's saying. Yeah. And then, boom. You see what I mean? Oh. Like, it's almost like gray. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, that's that's really creepy. super that creepy. So weird. Okay, what are these kid experiences? So, childhood yeah, tell us your childhood trauma. <clears throat> so, a couple, <laughs> couple ones. Um, when I was not old enough to speak yet, uh, my mom was going down battlefield and she was about to go through a, like a stoplight that had just been turning yellow, and I was in the back seat and she heard a voice say stop. So she hit the brakes and had she not stopped. Uh, there was a car that went the other oh. way, just ripped by. Yeah. Had she not stopped, uh, she would have gotten T-boned. Super oh creepy. Gosh. It was only her and I in the car. And then when I was old enough to uh, speak, the one of the apartments that we lived at uh, was super duper haunted. So uh, my parents would smell like fresh cigar smoke as if somebody was just walking around the apartment with a stogie. Um, and neither of them smoked, none of the neighbors smoked, so they didn't know where it was coming from. And it was like inside the house. Uh, <clears throat> both of my parents said that they saw an apparition and without having a prior conversation about it, gave the same description of a man with a hat. Oh, no. oh. Remember that detail. Um, one day my mom, <laughs> Came in to see me laying in their bed talking to somebody on the ceiling. She was like, hey, who are you talking to? And I was like, that guy up there. And she was like, well, what does he look like? And I said, a man with a hat. <laughs> Boo! Was it you? Were you there? I was there like, home? hello there, young chap. It was just Gene Wilder. On yeah. The yeah. Um, oh my gosh. That's that's we only insane. have 30 seconds left, so. 30 seconds? Yeah. Well, I have more, but. Do I you wanna... post these anywhere? No, but you if, should, you yeah. but if somebody asks, um, I'll, I'll ramble on about I it. I want to talk to you about the cigar smoke, because in my old house, I could smell cigarette smoke oh, in the foyer, and we that. don't smoke, and I'm like, there's somebody in here. 
and it's heavy. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you for sharing with us, yeah. Owen. Oh, thank you. You're very sensitive to yeah. the other side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. And also, I want to throw it out there to the viewers. If you have a crazy paranormal story like Owen's, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. So, all right. Well, coming up on hour one of Unscripted, we're headed to Marshfield Chevy. We'll be right back. That was scary. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be you. Yeah.